Hi, this is lead code question. Minimum time to visit a cell in a grid. This is the last question of weekly contest number uh, three, three, uh, four. You are given M by N matrix grid consisting of uh, non-negative integers. You are standing in the top left uh, cell of the matrix. So you are standing on this cell and this is zero second and you must move to any adjacent cell in the four direction up down left and right each move you 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 make take one second return the minimum time required in which you can visit the bottom right cell this cell of the matrix if you cannot visit the bottom right cell, then return uh, minus one. So from this cell, at initially we are at zero second, we need to reach this cell at uh, minimum time. And we can move right, up, left, and uh, down. Not here, and then from this cell we can on move to uh, right and uh, down because left and up are outside the uh, grid now first of all let's check for when we uh, should return uh, minus one in this example we return minus one and that's because uh, zero here plus one equal one now one is less than two so we cannot go to this cell and one is less than three so we cannot go to this cell and that means that we uh, cannot move from original uh, cell to reach the bottom right cell and so we have to return minus one that means if the cell on the right of the top left and the cell of the in the bottom or the cell down to uh, uh, or the cell below the top left uh, cell greater than one so if both of them greater than one we cannot uh, uh, reach the bottom right cell and we have to return minus one so in the code, we need to check if a grid of zero of one greater than one and grid one of zero greater than one return uh, minus one. For all other cases, uh, we can reach the bottom right uh, uh, cell. For example, if this cell is zero and this is one, now, 0 plus 1 equal 1 0 plus 1 equal 1 this one is greater than or equal to this cell so that means we can move to the right cell now from 0 we cannot move directly to uh, uh, this cell because 1 is less than or equal uh, 1 is less than 3 but because we can move to this cell, we can do ping pong until the time uh, be less than uh, this one by one or equal to this value. For example, uh, zero we can move here. This is time one. Then we can return back here. This is time two. Now from two, we can go to uh, three. And that means uh, only when this value and this value greater than one we cannot uh, move from this uh, cell for all other cases we can reach the bottom right now to solve this question we will use digestra algorithm to do that we need priority q and this is uh, min priority q the elements in this queue uh, uh, 
contain three values the time to reach uh, the cell and the index of uh, the cell and we need this uh, grid of boolean uh, for checking if the node or the cell is already visited initially we push the uh, first uh, top left cell i and j are zero zero and the time initially is zero this uh, direction vector to uh, move right up left and down now we keep looping until uh, the queue is empty so here we we get the minimum time in the queue or the element with minimum time uh, since this is minimum priority queue now if i equal m minus one and j equal n minus one which is this cell that means that we arrive and we return the time directly otherwise if this node let's say we are checking this node this node is already checked we don't need to check it again so we continue otherwise we mark the node uh, to be visited and now let's say we are here we need to check all the neighbors which is this one this one this one and this one and the index for example first of all we check if we can't move to this one and this will have the new index in i in j so if this is one one this is one two now is one two within the boundary yes and we check if it's uh, uh, visited here now if it's within boundary and not visited we have these cases the first case if the time we get for the current node is greater than or equal the time uh, the value here that which is the minimum time required so let's say the minimum time or this is three and we want to visit this node so we can we can go directly to uh, this uh, node and we store uh, the value which is the time plus one three plus one equal four so when we move here the time to take to, to visit this node is the current time plus one so it's four seconds so we push time plus one mm -hmm. now the other uh, thing is if the time plus one is not greater than or equal uh, to grade of, of the neighbor so if the time of this is uh, let's say one or one plus one is uh, uh, so the time one plus one is greater than or equal to but assume it's zero or the time we get is zero so zero plus one equal one one is not greater than or equal to two in that case we have two uh, cases grid of n minus time uh, the neighbor cell value minus uh, time is odd for example here if we have three and the neighbor is uh, eight so the different here is five and that means from this cell we can use all uh, one of the neighbor cells that has uh, less value than three to
to make it uh, eight or seven let's see so let's say we are coming here this is four we return back this is five we return here this is six we return here this is seven so in this case we arrived seven and then we can go directly to eight and so the time to reach this node will be this value eight and that's why we push the time in uh, in uh, the neighbor cell the other case if the neighbor uh, value or the difference is uh, even for example if we have the time is 3 and the neighbor grid value is uh, 7 so 7 minus 3 equal 4 and this is uh, even now assume we want to make this reach uh, the time 7 or 6 so uh, assume this the value here is uh, 1 that means from 3 we can go to 1 so 3 then here 4 then here 5 this is 6 then we, we return it's 7 now notice this is 7 and to move here plus 1 7 plus 1 equal 8 so if it's even we just push the q7 plus 1 which is the neighbor cell plus 1 now this case is uh, just for compilation we covered the minus one case 